What's up, my beautiful people? Welcome to your Push and Pull Tuesday. So with our Push and Pull Tuesday, we're going into the fourth week of our program. And now on this week, this is where it gets a little spicier, especially with that superset. So now we're decreasing the reps, but we're going to increase the time on our superset movement. So we're still on our floor bench press, right? Making sure our spine is aligned against the ground. We want to place that barbell right, right above our chest. Each one, big deep breath, tight stomach as you control, letting those triceps hit the ground, pop it up, blowing that air out. This week, we'll be doing a total of eight reps. Once you finish, you will immediately go into your push-ups. Your push-ups, hand placement is everything, right? Palms on the ground, right underneath your chest, shoulder area, elbows tucked in. This time, you're going for a total of 30 seconds. Whether you're on your knees or not, it's totally up to you, but making sure that you control your body weight up and down. Now, 30 seconds, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, it's gonna feel like hell. So, by any means, if you get to the 15 second mark, you look at the clock and you're like, oh crap, I still got 15 more seconds, shake it off, make your rest periods a lot shorter, and then get right back in there. But when you get to that 30 second mark, I want you to shake it off. You're gonna notice, you're gonna need recovery time. You're gonna do this for four sets. Again, eight reps. 30 seconds of superset on your push-ups. Then we're going to our rows. Same exact thing we've been doing with our rows. Getting that barbell, shoulders pinched back, tight stomach. Hinge at the hips, keeping that barbell near our shins, excuse me, our uh, quads. Pulling up, keeping those elbows nice and tight, hitting that belly button and controlling. Weight is heavier this week. Just like on the bench press, weight should be heavier. And on both, the bench press and the rows, if you can add a, a weight, you know, the two and a halves, the fives, the tens, every round, that's cool. But once you get to eight, you're then doing the pull-ups. We're going wide grip, controlling that weight, body weight up and down, getting your chin up, controlling, getting your chin up and controlling. Just like the push-ups, this is gonna feel like hell, all right? But your goal is to get as many reps as you can in 30 seconds. Now, if you have to take a little break in between, shake it off, get right back on the bar and get as many as you can. If you're not at the pull-ups, don't worry, boo. You can do the same thing with the rings, leaning back, making it challenging, but still doing that superset. You're going to do this again for a total of four rounds. Now, don't go from the push to the pull, push to pull, or the bench press to the pulls. Go ahead and stay at the bench press. Knock all four sets out, and then, then do uh, the pull-ups uh, with the rows. Or you can start with the pull-ups and the rows, and then do the bench press and the push-ups. Totally up to you. All right, for our conditioning, you don't need a lot, but you will need one dumbbell and you will need one kettlebell. This is an uneven form of carry. You're gonna do 100 feet one direction and then you're gonna do 100 feet back. With your uneven form of carry, the kettlebell must be overhead, which is a lockout position. And your dumbbell is gonna be at hanging position. Literally, you're gonna walk down 100 feet. Once you get there, place it on the ground, doing the same exact thing, snatching it up and go back to where you came from. Now, both weight need to be challenging, but they don't need a match. For example, my kettlebell weight, it might be 35 pounds, and I might have a 50 pound dumbbell. So, um, once you do your 100 feet down and 100 feet back, you're then gonna do 10 push-ups. On your push-ups, it's a one second pause at the bottom, all right? So, you're in that push-up again. This time, as you keep your elbows close to your rib cage, 1,001 pop up, down, thousand one, pop up. Same thing is done on your knees, control, one second, pop up. Then you're gonna do your pulls, but this time you're doing chin ups. Same exact thing, typically we do overhand, right, with our pull ups, but we're doing chin ups, which hands are underneath. Now we're gonna hit the biceps just a little bit, but we're still working those lats, controlling your body weight up, and controlling your body weight down you would do 10. And don't worry, boo, if you're not at the pull-ups yet, you can do inverted pull-up rolls, which is putting the bar at the midline level around your waist and doing the same thing. But your coach will walk you through that. But you'll do this for an AMRAP of 14 minutes, repeating that 100 feet down, 100 feet back, 10 push-ups with the pause, 10 chin-ups, repeating that over and over. That's gonna be your push and pull Tuesdays. Hey guys, I'm proud of you. Let's get after it. We got a holiday coming up, so let's make sure we're really aggressive with today's workout. I'll see y'all soon.